everyone you welcome to today's edition of Thursday Health Tips with Lyo so on today's edition I'll be talking about drug misuse I know like many of us maybe at one point or the other knowingly or unknowingly might have fallen into the category of people who have misused drugs and after watching this video you'll be more enlightened about what drug misuse really is and the dangers associated with drug misuse and i'm pretty sure and very sure that you'll be planning to change your ways drug misuse refers to the use of drug for purposes in which was not intended for or using it in excessive quantity in simple terms it means taking too much or too less of a medication taking it for other reasons than it was intended for by your physician then accepting prescription medication from a friend and stopping the medication earlier than you ought to stop the medication so i'll be taking us through some uh, major classes of drugs that are mostly misused which includes antibiotics analgesics steroids and oral contraceptives Talking about misuse of antibiotics, which seems to be the top on the list of the class of drug that is mostly misused. Take for example, the um, use of tetracycline and metrolindazole flagi for runny stomach diarrhea. Without any confirmatory test from the laboratory that this diarrhea is caused by a bacterial infection. Next time, the right turn to do when you have diarrhea is to go to a nearby pharmacy or an hospital so that you can be given the right drug to use for diarrhea so when you overuse antibiotics you underuse antibiotics or you use them for the wrong reasons you expose your organs to damage by these drugs and most importantly you contribute to antimicrobial resistance I'm sure you know that antibiotics are used to fight against bacterial infection. Antimicrobial resistance is a situation in which these antibiotics are no longer effective against the bacterial infection they used to be effective against. So if you want to know more about antimicrobial resistance, in short, AMR, you can just follow the online campaign on social media with the hashtag 100 days awareness on AMR. Analgesic simply means pain reliever medications. So oftentimes we misuse pain reliever medications by using them every day to relieve stress. Remember, in reference to my video on stress management, where I talked about and I emphasized on not depending on drugs or any chemical substance to relieve stress. And I talked about other better ways in which you can relieve stress. You can check the video out. So if you are experiencing any kind of pain and it's recurrent, the best thing for you to do is to see an healthcare professional on the right use of analgesics and sort so that they can monitor your use of analgesics when you overuse or you misuse analgesics you are at risk of kidney damage some people use steroids for the sole purpose of gaining weight which is not why steroids were made like the major reason why steroids were made so when you misuse steroids now it can cause depression of the immune system it can also lead to hormonal imbalance leading affecting the growth or leading to um, menst irregular menstrual cycle lastly the misuse of oral contraceptives in this case emergency contraceptives most especially postinol 2 postinol 2 is an emergency contraceptive and it is not intended for use as a regular method of contraception it should be used at most once a month. When it is misused, it can lead to infertility, irregular menstrual cycle, bleeding, and etopic pregnancy. Now, the classes of drug that I talked about earlier that are usually misused are not limited to the aforementioned. So I'll be updating us on the other types of drugs that can be misused, the effect, and the right thing to do as regards these drugs on 
my Facebook page. You can join my Facebook page, L Tips with Lyo. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next week on Tuesday L Tips with Lyo. Bye.